guys, Eric here. Thanks for drawing with me today. I'm also going to be painting a little bit later, but you can follow along with markers, colored pencils, or whatever you have around your house. All you need to get started is a piece of paper and something to draw with. Today I'll be teaching you how to draw a cute little mermaid. Let's start by drawing a wide U shape. This is going to be her head. Two cute little ears. I know it's hard to see with my hand in the way, but I'm drawing a starfish in her hair. You can always practice your stars on an extra piece of paper. Now I'm going to begin to add the different layers of her hair. Remember, you can always pause the video if you're having trouble. Just do the best you can. In Old English, mermaid literally means woman of the sea. And now we're going to add her neck, shoulders, and give her some arms. Hands are super hard to draw, so I'm just going to show the side view of her hand with it getting skinnier where her fingers are. Same thing on the other side. Or not. Looks like we're going to make this arm going up. Time to add the top of her swimsuit. I'm going to make mine out of two scallop shapes. I'm going to make sure they overlap in the middle. Some lines in the shells should complete the look. Tummy time! I'm going to model my mermaid after Ariel from The Little Mermaid. So let's give her some, I don't know what to call them, fish hips? An upside down U in the center of the face will give her a cute little nose. Then the same shape, just bigger for her eyes. Give it some eyelashes. And some eyebrows. Just don't angle them downwards or she'll look like the angry mermaid, not the little mermaid. Finally, let's give her a big smile. Now I'm just going to add a few more sections to fully fill out her hair. Now let's give her a tail. Just follow the shape as best you can. Notice how I make a dot here? This is how I'll know where the center of her fin goes. There you have it, a cute little mermaid. Here comes the satisfying part. I'm gonna crank her video up super fast so she'll fill in right before your eyes. I'm gonna be using paint, but remember you can use markers, sharpies, or whatever you have around the house. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell to remind you when our videos go live every Wednesday and Saturday. Did you know The Little Mermaid was actually based on a fairy tale? It was written by Hans Christian Andersen in 1837. And the story was actually really sad. I think I like the Disney version better. Apparently Disney initially wanted Ariel to be blonde. I think I like her better as a redhead. you know that The Little Mermaid has been released in 40 different countries? That means they recorded the whole movie over again in 40 different languages, using a bunch of different actresses. So think about it, the Ariel you and I know might have a completely different voice in a different country. All her skin tone's taking a little too long for my taste, so I'm gonna snap my fingers and... Did you know scalps can live up to 20 years old? I guess these ones didn't. 
Now it's time to start her tail. Did you know that the bluish green color of Ariel's tail was specially mixed up by a Disney paint lab? They even named the color Ariel after her. Now that we're pretty much done, watch how I'm going to use white to put some highlights on her tail and her hair. It's just a little trick that I think helps everything pop out and it looks really good. Noise. Remember guys, if you want to take your mermaid to the next level, you can always add a background. I'm going to do that just like this. How easy was that? I hope you guys had fun making some art today, and I hope you'll hit that subscribe button, like, and hit that notification bell to remind you when our videos go live every Wednesday and Saturday.